The Darling Gunner is one of, if not my favorite towers in Balloon's Tower Defense, but you kind of need a long straight line for it to be able to have its full use. But fortunately for us, a creator by the name of Lucas has created the funny Dartling map, which is literally just multiple straight lines. Not only that, we've changed every single tower to work just like a Dartling Gunner. And we're gonna be trying out all of the Dartling Gunner towers. So here we go, but this is our Dart Monkey Dartling Gunner. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, this is going to be so good. Oh my gosh, look at how fast the Dartling Gunner actually fires now. So the Dartling Gunner is like even more Dartling Gunner-y, if that makes any sense. What about a banana farm? Does banana farm, the banana, wait, look at this. Does the banana farm just like spit out bananas? Wait, what is happening? How in the world would a tack shooter work for a Dartling Gunner? Oh, he just like spins, but he just like shoots in the same direction. So that's not like that exciting. Wait, how does a boomerang monkey work? A boomerang monkey just like spins around and around and around. I want to do, wait, a super monkey. Let's just do wizard. Yeah, let's do a, let's do a good old wizard. All right, what about marketplace? Hopefully marketplace is going to be nice. I don't, marketplace seems pretty normal, actually. Have you ever seen a backside of a marketplace? Isn't that weird looking? All right, here we go. Wizard monkeys going crazy on them. How long do these like go for? So they go around and around. Okay, and then they go back up and it goes back down to two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so they go up and down quite a few times. Wait, what if we also do a fireball? Does he launch that too? Oh, so he launches both both attacks. That's pretty cool, actually. Wait, super. Wait. Oh my gosh, Super Monkey is insane. Super Monkey's crazy. We could just do laser blast too. Look at that. Brrr. Holy cow, Super Monkey Darling Gunner is absolutely wild. Wait, how in the world does an alchemist work? I'm just trying like all of these base towers. Whoa, this is like a, this is so weird. It's not that bad actually. Like if I just have it like sit right there, are some of the, he's actually able to deal with all of them. It's definitely not that good. What about ninja? Okay, let's get Seeking Shuriken. Does that actually work if I do this? Oh yeah, that's super nice. And then Ninja Discipline. Okay, nice. So if I get Flash Bombs, look, his f the Flash Bombs don't have homing on them. So he's just throwing them off in the corner. Okay, so having the Flash Bombs I think is pretty important. Oh, but the Flash Bombs don't go that far. I mean, obviously, I really want to see what Crossbow looks like. Sharp, like Crossbow Monkey's already like kind of a Dartling Gunner-esque tower. So I don't know if that really counts. What if we do triple shot works exactly the way that I would assume triple shot to work if it had a crazy range, right? Like, obviously. All right, Juggernaut. Oh, man. This, I think, is the scariest one. This is definitely one of the scariest Dartling Gunner type towers. What do you do against that? What do you even do? I don't think you do anything. I think you just lose. I can aim this anywhere on the map and it, wait, what about like way up here? No matter where, I'm going to be popping balloons. That's crazy. What about the Moab? It <laughs> just like completely annihilates the Moab. Just a good old bomb shooter. All right, that's pretty weak though. Let's do, wait, all right. What about cluster bombs? Recursive cluster? That one's not really doing all that great. I mean, that's like... So the bombs just explode. It doesn't have a lot of pierce to it, you know? So I don't think this is like, especially a very good tower. Like it's nice that it has range, but you see how like the bombs explode and then like the bombs back behind it also explode. So I don't really think that's that good of a tower. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. This on the other hand is way better. I, the faster firing makes up for it. And the fact that it stuns balloons just makes this an absolute menace. It just stops balloons completely from showing up. What about like Moab Eliminator and probably Frag Bombs? Not good. Here, let's just get a perma charge. Let's just... Whoa, that's... Look at... That's so weird how the perma charge works. How it like moves. Oh! Oh! Wait, so if it hits the balloon, it goes all the way down. So if one of them hits it, it actually... This might be a, a really high contender. This one works really well, actually, because it's just like, boop, 
and then a boop, and then a boop, boop, boop. All right, I like that. That one's, that's a very high contender. Moab for us. So this doesn't really throw them that far. So it just kind of creates this, like, line of boomerangs that they can't really get by. I was having a lot of fun with the wizard. And what if we just did dragon's breath? Oh. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Alright. What about... So guided... Wait. Guided magic? Yeah. Oh, so the guided magic doesn't work for the fire. It only works for that. Interesting. Very interesting. I feel like I'm learning a lot about balloons right now. Phoenix just works as Phoenix normally does. So that's nothing too exciting. Archmage, on the other hand. Let's see how Archmage works. Oh. Oh my gosh! Archmage has been super goaded when we've done past tests like this. This is really good. Well, let's do intense magic. I guess monkey sense, but I guess that doesn't even matter. All right, what happens if we just go like max balloon? What? Ninja's so cool. I like I like ninja. I I like all of these. All right, I I love all of these. All of these have been so cool so far. All right, Avatar of Wrath. How does this work? I feel like Hard Thorns is actually better in this instance. Oh my gosh, Lightning! He has Global Lightning. Okay, the Druid. This I like, but he's not that powerful. Okay, Spirit of the Forest is just insane just because he has so many spikes. So the balloons just go over the spikes. So I don't think this really counts that much. I don't think this one's... I feel like this one's just good on this map, but for different reasons, you know? So, Engineer? Wait, what about Double Guns? And then, I guess, Deconstruction? How... This is actually really strong! This is a T3 tower, mind you. And he's just crushing it. Here, we gotta get XXL trap too. Wait, what? The balloon? Wait, look at this. Wait, what the heck? The balloons aren't going into the trap. I'm so confused. Let's do Ultra Vision, Dark Knight. Oh man. Okay, Dark Knight's pretty good. Dark Champion. I don't have enough for Legend of the Night. <laughs> I don't got that kind of money. Wait, balloon exclusion zone? Okay, we definitely need focus firing. Oh my gosh, this is like double, this is double trouble. We need, okay, we need to get, we need to get higher up in the rounds. It's literally too easy right now. Let's just get up to where it gets exciting. I just, okay, I just skipped up to round 100, but it doesn't even matter. Look at this guy. Okay, maybe it matters a little bit. Let's find out what is actually the best dartling gun, the dartling gunner tower. Like which actually can last the longest. So, MAD, I feel like MAD is going to have some problems just because of what it is. But Ray of Doom, on the other hand, I mean, Ray of Doom is... Wait, is that two? I see two Ray of Doom lasers. Do you see that? There's two Ray of Dooms. Yeah, I. we might have found the winner here. Round 140. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. But can there be better? I think there can be. If we sell this. And if we just went like Dark Champion, right? This seems better than the Ray of Doom. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's de maybe it's not as good. Because the balloon's still got to come back up. That's, that's pretty strong, but it's nothing to be like, whoa, like that is the strongest tower in the game. It's not crazy, crazy, you know? Okay, that one's pretty good. But is it stronger than the Legend of the Night? I don't think so. I don't think it's stronger than the Legend of the Night so far. It's, it's definitely not. Let's go, let's go back to some of our older, our older towers here. Like, what about these? How does our boomerang monkey handle itself not bad it's not bad but it's still i still feel like it's not okay it can kind of permanently hold balloons down which is pretty good but i don't know if it's got exactly what it takes it just takes forever to pop things it's just not that powerful which is kind of crazy to say but it's really not it's, it's really not that good 
Is that the Archmage again? Ooh, Archmage still can't do it. So once we get to round 142, we're starting to run into some problems, it looks like. There looks like there's some towers that just aren't able to really get the job done. I know that, the, whoa, what the heck? What is this? I can't, it's like so inaccurate. All right, this is so bad. It's getting some pops, but like that's also a loss. We need paragons. What if we got a paragon? What if we got a paragon indeed? All right, let's see, Apex Plasma Master. What is happening? We're breaking the game. Oh my gosh. Oh no. We completely broke the game. I really hope we just lose. I really hope we just lose here. Something is very wrong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've done something bad. It's all falling apart. Well, guys. Yeah, we broke the game, but let me know what you guys think having every tower be a darling gunner if you enjoyed it or not And maybe we should try this with another tower or map. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Peace